brothers and sisters. My name's George the Coconut, or CLC the Coconut, if you prefer. Um, my pops said I had to do the intro today, or uh, he had a rock in his hand and I was worried what he was going to do with it. Today we're having turkey drumsticks, sapa suey, balusami casserole, and uh, oh golly, I can't think of what else. Oh, some, some little pies with pineapple in it. I'm so sorry, come closer. Help me get out of here. Hello, for love, everyone. Today, like uh, George hopefully said, I told him to record that message. Hopefully he did a good job and didn't say anything he shouldn't have. Hmm. I'll check the video later when I upload it. Hopefully he didn't, because if he did, Papa's going to have to sauce up with that rock and learn how to break my first coconut. All right. So today we are making everything that George C.O.C. the coconut said. And uh, let's get started. I'm going to start with the half moon pies. Never made these. Uh, but I'm excited so to try. So I will let you know the recipe I'm making is based on one from Mills. She has her own YouTube channel. She's awesome. A lot of people make the half moon pie, but I really wanted to support her and the way she did it. Uh, I, I have a little couple tweaks that I'm doing. Um, but basically, I'm making half of the ingredients that she recommended because I... You know, my wife's probably the only one that's going to eat it. <laughs> I might try it too, though, um, just to show support for my own cooking. So first, I'm getting ready with the uh, the pie filling. So this is one cup of crushed pineapple. I drained it, all the juice off. Let's put that there. And then I'm going to use a half a cup of milk. Okay. And now... Uh, let me get a half a cup of sugar. So I've run out of so many measuring things today. I'm using so many things. I'm going to use half a cup of sugar. So basically right here, this is four tablespoons. And I'll do this twice. And that's half a cup. A little bit more. Yeah. Maybe not all of it. And there we go. I've also got a couple tablespoons of, I saved some of the pineapple juice, and a couple tablespoons of uh, custard powder, because I'm going to add that towards the end uh, to thicken it. But for now, let me stir this up, and then we're going to put it on medium heat. All right, I'm turning it on medium heat. This part of the recipe don't really scare me. Um, I can stir stuff all day. What makes me nervous, though, is making the pie crust. I am no baker. I actually uh, don't eat a lot of pies. I know everyone's going to boo me. Um, I don't like pies and cakes. I'm not a sweet person eater. It kind of, uh, if I eat stuff that's too sweet, it kind of makes me sick to my stomach. So that's why even as a kid, I um, did not eat pies or cakes for my birthday. I'd always ask for something else. <laughs> so I'm just going to stir this around. I'm not going to mush it up any more than it is. I'm going to leave it a little bit chunky. I don't really know how my wife likes it. She might say I needed to mix it more. Who knows? But let's mix that around. And if I remember the, the way she did it uh, correctly, and I'll put a link to her YouTube channel in my description as well, in case you are one of the rare few people uh, that haven't checked out her channel yet. And uh, But when it starts getting warm, uh, that's why I'm going to mix the, the custard powder and the pineapple together to make it a little thick. All right, this is the part that really makes me nervous. So you see, I've already made a mess right here. So this is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Ooh, I know I'm going to make a, a mess for sure. And then, let's see, what else do we put in there? Butter. Oh, let me go get the butter. Oh, before I do that, I better, uh, I got to add this slurry of the custard powder and the pineapple juice because the uh, pineapple filling is starting to get warm. Hopefully I'm doing this right. If not, oh, <laughs> forgive me, everyone. Hey, but as long as my life, wife likes it, right? <laughs> so I'll come back and stir this. 
every few seconds, I think. Just uh, if it gets too thick, I'll add a little more uh, water or a little bit more pineapple juice. All right, let's go back to the crust. Oh man, I almost forgot when I saw this on my counter. I forgot I have to add, uh, for this I'm adding half a teaspoon because of the amount of flour I'm having. And I think also there was a pinch of salt. I can keep that the same. It's hard to put a pinch in my hand. So let's just grab a pinch. There we go. And then I'm just going to kind of stir that around. Okay, here comes the, the ooey gooey part for me is actually putting my hands in it and adding the butter. So butter's next. All right, so I'm adding in uh, a little more than a quarter stick of butter. Not sure how many grams that is, but, and now I'm gonna have to mix it with my hands. So my hands are clean, but let me go double wash them again. And uh, also put on a new Band-Aid. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. This is a part I'm not fond of, but, oh, it's, uh, it's pretty soft. I left the butter out on the counter for a while. So I think I mix this all together. Get it all incorporated throughout there. And I think the reason why we're doing this is to make like a more, maybe a buttery and more flaky crust. I hope that's, I should have just opened up the video and watched it while I did this. But hey, that kind of takes out, uh, I want to do some of it by myself. And also if I make a mistake, that's how I learn, right? All right, it's not really sticking together, but I think I need to add uh, the coconut milk. And for this amount of flour, I'm going to add uh, half a cup of coconut milk. All right, wish me luck. So I think, uh, do I stir it? Oh, I don't remember. Maybe I should stir it while I pour it in. Hold on a second, let me get my spoon yeah, back. Maybe I stir it, I think. I don't remember. Let's add a little more. Did I get it all in there? Stir it around. I know eventually I'm going to have to take it out and, I don't know, make a giant ball out of it before I cut it up. Oh, now you see why I'm not a fan of baking. I'm so messy. And let's add the rest. Oh, my wife's going to kill me if I get this flour everywhere on the floor. I mean, it's not 100% all sticking together. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember if I'm supposed to put my hands in there now and do it. Uh, guess it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna take what's off there. And just get in here and get, get with it. Oh my goodness. To be honest with you, I feel like it's never gonna be the way it's supposed to be. Maybe I'm supposed to knead it a little bit or massage it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's starting to stick together though. I'm sure there's some of you chefs at home cracking up watching me do this. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, at least it's a ball. But there's still some on the bottom of the bucket. Let me do it on my uh, parchment paper here. Is it all supposed to stick to your hands like this? <laughs> Was I supposed to add an egg or something? I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe give it, just give it some love. Hey, Mr. Flower, just giving you a massage. Oh, and I think I'm supposed to put some flour on here too, like sprinkle it on there. Well, I'll do that in a little bit. Or maybe not. I don't remember if I roll it out or not. Gosh darn it. I think I don't roll it out till I cut it in pieces. Oh, I feel like going back and watching it, but I'm refusing. I'm going to be stubborn. Just like any guy. Well, I think that looks halfway decent. What do you think? I'm going to let it, 
uh, rise. I was going to say raise. I'm going to let it rise for a few minutes and we'll come back and finish. All right, it's been resting for about six, seven, eight minutes. So I had to go out and get my husband clobberer. I usually hide this under my bed and keep it away from my wife so she don't find it. Bunk, bunk. But I believe what we do first is we're not going to roll it yet. I think I'm going to kind of flatten this out a little bit and maybe cut it into pieces. So let's start doing that. I, I don't have a fancy pastry thing. I just cut it in four pieces and just make her four pies. There's one. Oops. Two and three, four. All right, had to go wash my hands again, so I'm gonna take these. And I think this is when I sprinkle a little powder. Or am I watching some other baking channel? I don't know. <laughs> but let's put that down there and there. And grab the husband bunker. Hold on. Ugh. Yeah, I should make it a circle, huh? First. I don't know. Oh, I hope I'm not messing it up. <laughs> Hold on a second. All right. Let's see. I just roll it back and forth. It's definitely not turning into a circle, though. <laughs> Mine's going to be a half asteroid pie, I think, instead of a moon. Not very round. Ah, it's getting there, though. Um, she had used, like, a nice little plate as a template. But, unfortunately... I don't even know if I have a plate that size so small. So, let me see. Oops. Let's see, if I folded that in half. Ah, that might work. <laughs> this seems a little thicker, though, than the other side. Let's try to get it all the same consistency, at least. Oh, that wasn't too hard. And putting that flour on there does help to keep from sticking. So, I know I don't want to overfill it. So, let me go get my filling. So using that uh, custard powder there, made it nice and thick. It's not watery at all. So let me add some filling. I think I'll put it on the bigger side right there. I remember her saying something about not overfilling it. So we'll see how that much goes. Because I remember I press it down and like do some magic little trick with a fork at the edge. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe a little more could fit in there. I, I think maybe my circles might be a little bigger than they should have been. That's okay. That's, I'm just learning how to do it. So I put it like that. Oh, that's right. And then she wet the edge and then flipped it over. Let me go get a little water. Okay, so I pressed that down there. And this is where she kind of trimmed it off. I think it made it pretty. Oh, let me put a little water here. Or put it on this part, right? Hopefully make it sticky like an envelope. There we go. Now I can maybe seal it this way. Ah, uh, my crust is going to be a little thicker than it should be maybe, but hopefully my wife likes thick crust. All right, now let me get the fork. All right, so I wet the fork a little bit. And I guess I push it like this. <laughs> That's some thick crust. I don't know why I'm making sound effects. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Hey, I think that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> and then I think I'm supposed to poke it. Maybe one time. Oh, there we go. All right. I want to make the other three, and then we're going to put them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about, I think, 20 to 30 minutes. All right. We'll see you then. Just so you know, this is my second one I just did. It got a little more circular except for that area. I basically made a ball first before I started rolling it. So maybe that helps a little bit all. I'll keep trying. And this is my third one. <laughs> I'm almost getting it to a circle. <laughs> one more try. I got uh, this one and then one more. Then we'll put them in the oven. And there we have it. There's the four I made. That's the last one I just made. The third one. Uh, the second one. And the first one. So all different <laughs> amounts of filling. I adjusted each time trying to make it a little better. So let's see how they turn out. All right. Look at this giant turkey drumstick and wing together. So my wife likes this, my daughter likes this, and uh, this is what I'm going to make for them. Just going to season it up. Already washed and patted it dry. A little salt. A little fresh cracked pepper. 
little onion powder. Little garlic powder. And some little Johnny's poultry seasoning. All right, I'm gonna put this in the oven at 352, but actually I'm gonna wait till the pies are done, then I'll put it in and we'll probably bake it at least for an hour or until the temperature is correct on the inside. Oh, so you know how much I love palasami. Unfortunately, huh, my taro leaves are all gone. I couldn't find any more when I went back there. So this is baby spinach, see? Aren't they cute? <laughs> some sliced onions, some deveined and peeled shrimp, and of course, have to add the coconut milk. I think I'm gonna try waiting till after it's cooked to add the seasoning like salt, pepper, garlic, ginger, etc. All right, that'll go into the oven um, towards the end when the turkey's almost done because this doesn't take that long to cook, maybe 20 minutes or 15 minutes. And actually, I think I need to add a little more coconut milk to it. So let me do this this one way. And I'm just gonna, well, let me just go like this. So I just need to poke a couple holes in it so I can uh, pour some more on there. There we go. That's how we roll, my friends. That's how we roll. And literally, I changed my mind already. I cannot wait to the end to season it. I'll mix it up. Then I'm going to put my salt and my garlic in it. And I should have put the, uh, I should have chopped up the garlic, but I'm going to use all the garlic that I chopped up for my sapasui. Because y'all have been picking on me that I don't make it very fancy, but that is the way my wife likes it. So, but today I'm going to make it a little fancier, and I'll show you that when I get to it. All right, fam. So, I actually cooked these for 35 minutes. I was trying to wait for them to turn color a little bit. And I took this hot pan over to my wife and I says, are these done, honey? Can you tell? And she goes, she goes, oh my God, they're done. And she reached for one. I'm like, oh, these are for dessert. <laughs> All right, now I can put the turkey in and get that to cooking. And let's go look at those pies one more time. So I put them on a plate. As you can see, this one kind of busted open a little bit. Too much filling. This one looks cute, though. They all look kind of cute. <laughs> well, I guess that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but it was kind of messy. But, hey, my wife has not tasted it yet. So the final verdict is out, but... She will make sure that when after she's done eating, that we will also film her eating some pie. And I'll try some too. <laughs> All right, I already soaked my noodles. So I know you don't like how I do that, anybody. But I always put it in boiling water for a few seconds. And I chop it up. So the Asian store where I get my good pisupo wasn't open. So I had to use this from the grocery store. It is... Uh, Hereford, Hereford corned beef, and it comes from Brazil in that little weird shaped can. So, guess what though? Some corned beef is better than no corned beef, right? All right, I put that in with some onions. I'm also going to add some minced garlic and ginger. There we go. I know you guys have been wanting me to add more goodies to mine. And don't worry, I've got more stuff to add. Let's let this warm up a little bit, and I'll add some more things. All right, I'm gonna add a little pepper now to the corned beef. And add some bean sprouts. And add some corn. Maybe that looks a little more like sapasui to you guys. <laughs> All right, let me go get the noodles. We're we'll add that and some other stuff. All right, got the noodles on top there. And I'm adding a mixture of soy sauce and oyster sauce. So let's get that straight up. All 
it's smelling good. Hope my wife likes it like this. She normally likes it more plain. But this looks pretty darn good. It smells good too. Just so you know, I was also making some instant mashed potatoes. I know, I know. The regular mashed potatoes are much better, but my kids love the instant kind. <laughs> Just wanted to show you this beautiful turkey done. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to cut it in half to give uh, some to my wife and some to my acapella. Also, the palisami casserole looks pretty good. Let me stir that up and get everyone's plates ready. Okay, before they get eating, just give you a glimpse of my wife's plate. She's got her sapasui, mashed potato and gravy, her giant chicken or uh, turkey drumstick, some green beans, some rice, and of course, her palisami. And then acapella's got mashed potatoes, sapasui, green beans and her turkey wing all right let's get started we're going to say our prayers and then we'll join the video all right we're all at the table we said our prayers silhouette had to go down and wash your hands i've got to get everyone to drink you can start eating <laughs> Save room for your pie. <laughs> Give this mm. to Pella. What you tasting, sweetie? Tap sweet. Try to get the tricky part of her. <laughs> I'll go get Silhouette, see what she's doing down in the bathroom so long. Yep, Silhouette's at the table now. She didn't want any uh, big fancy dinner. She wanted a... Uh... Mata. Hi, pocket! Mata. <laughs> Mata. She's trying the... Um... What flavor are you trying? What's the flavor you're trying? Silhouette, what flavor are you trying? Um, I don't know. You, I thought you said you wanted uh, meatballs and mozzarella. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. I'm going to turn the heat off in the house because it's quite hot here. Oh. After uh, cooking that dinner in the oven. Getting my plate ready while the family enjoys theirs. You're ketchup, honey. Ketchup? Mm-hmm. You want ketchup for your chop suey? <laughs> ketchup for my, um... Turkey, turkey. For my turkey meat. Hmm? Where is it? Did we use it all up? No, it's right there. Oh. Hiding. Hiding on me. <laughs> there you go, sweetie. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, baby. I have a package coming in today. Oh, good. We're we'll keeping an eye out for it. <laughs> it's a book. Sweet. Mm. Did you read your manga? Hello? What's that, huh? I'm eating some leftovers. I didn't want turkey. I wanted my leftovers uh, meat. <laughs> Here's my plate so far. Ta -da! Let me try the sapasui too. Hmm. So I added the other stuff they normally add, like ginger, garlic, etc. It's pretty good. <laughs> hey, Uso, you want a bite? 
Oh, I bet that was good, huh? Doggy's excited. This one or the big one? Big. There you go, sweetie. Get a drink. How's your hot pocket? <laughs> well, you're eating it, so it must be okay. <laughs> it's almost gone already. Good job, Silo. <laughs> Trying to stir up my hmm I need to warm that up a little more that's my leftover egg flour or egg drop soup however you call it Oh my goodness, excuse me, sorry everyone. <laughs> Too much crushed red peppers on my food, I think. <laughs> yeah. Limbo. But it's so good. Mm. Oh, let me go see if my soup is ready. What's that, sweetie? What, honey bunny? You gonna say something? I'm done. You took one bite out of your chicken <laughs> jerky. <laughs> Made me feel like I was in um, I mean um, caveman days. No, caveman days or the or King Arthur's round table. Take one bite for us. Um, mm -hmm. um, um. Fine. Did you try the uh, spinach palisami yet? Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-mm. Whether it's spinach leaves or Charles leaves. I love me some palisami. I need room for my pie. Oh, you can eat a pie now if you want. Pick one. Uh, <coughs> I need nothing. I guess I can get a napkin from way over here. Uh, like one right here. You guys can uh, get one no, right man. there. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. Well, my first attempt eating pie, if you're going to spit it out, don't spit it at the camera. <laughs> this is the last one I made. So maybe it's this one right here. So maybe that's the best one. Try that one. Where? That one. Why? It's the fourth one I made. Yeah, I just said why. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Drum roll. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells like pie. Half more pie. Good, very good. What's the inside look like? Turn around, let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see the opening. Nope. 
Oh, that looks okay. It's not leaking out or anything, I guess. Okay. This is really good. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Or what it tastes like. Mm-mm-mm. Alright, give me a small bite because I said I would eat some. Yeah. Oh. Ready? Mmm. Mm. I like the crust. It's really good. You want to try it while over there? Hmm? More pineapple? I got some. Yeah, it's good. Huh, not yeah, bad. Yeah, I'm not a pie person, but that, that honestly is not bad for my first attempt. Well, it is a Sunday evening. <sighs> we had a long day. But a blessed day, and I hope you all had a blessed day too. I hope this weekend you had a wonderful Sabbath. I'm making a mess with my pie. It's okay. But eh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm off camera. Just, man, I'm so hot from cooking over the stove. Plus, we had our heat on. Cause it's a rainy day today here and I just feel like I'm kind of I don't know <laughs> too hot to be on, <laughs> on camera today well I'm glad you enjoyed your your um, pineapple half moon pie what's a Samoan word for that do you know yeah. oh <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> it's just called a half moon pie. Yeah, half moon pie. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. God bless each and every one of you. We super appreciate everyone watching. I hope you enjoyed today's uh, dinner with us. It truly is a uh, lot of food for us at one time. We normally don't eat this many different things. But I wanted to do it kind of the Samoan way. And yes, I feel like a nap after this. <laughs> or oh feel moy. Honey, hmm. your turn. Say bye or whatever you're gonna say. Thank you everyone for stopping by. <laughs> Until next time. Fat. Yeah, in peace. Love you guys.